Great websites care about their users' experiences. So when we make changes, we want to make sure that they're positive. A great way to track if a change has the intended result is through A-B testing. Today, I'm going to show you two things. A, how to set up an experiment on your AMP pages, and B, how to track the results. I really want my readers to share my hikes with their friends, but my share button isn't getting too much interaction. I'm worried my readers are just skipping right over it. So I'm going to try changing the color to see if I can draw more attention to it. But I want to compare the amount of clicks the button gets when it's a different color directly with the current styling. The AMP experiment component allows us to do just that. I'll start by adding the script tag into the head of my document. Next, I'll define a JSON configuration within the AMP experiment tags. I'll name the experiment button color experiment and define two variants, white and mustard. The numbers after each variant define the percentage of how much each one should appear to users. I've given it an even 50-50 split. Now, I'll define each variant style in the CSS. We give it the amp-x prefix to avoid naming conflicts. Then, I'll add the button color experiment selector to the button. And there's a 50-50 chance that when I refresh the page, my button will be mustard yellow. Perfect. You can also force check this by adding amp x experiment name to the amp page URL. Now that I can see my experiment is set up, I need to track the results. I'll add a trigger to my analytics configuration, calling it social share. I define the ID of the button as the selector, declaring what element we want to track an event on. I'll then register click as the trigger, meaning when the user clicks the button, we send specified information back to our analytics account. Finally, I'll define my vars. And for event label, I'll fill it in with the variant URL substitution variable. This will send back which button color is currently applied, white or mustard. Then, after a few clicks around, I can jump over and see the results in my Google Analytics account. And in just a day or two, GA will give me a more robust report in the events under behavior. And there you have it, how to get started with tracking and testing your AMP pages. Thanks so much for watching.